Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Janae and I'm the owner of Confidently You. And for today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a peekaboo tumbler um, with offset words. Um, everything that I use for the tutorial, um, you can find them below um, for glitters, cups, sanding blocks, all that I will list below. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to also put them at the bottom and I will get, do my best to get back to you um, as far as any answers to your questions. So, let's get started. Alrighty, hey guys, so I have already prepped and spray painted my tumbler. Um, I will link the colors below that I use to spray paint it with. Um, so I'm already good to go. I have my epoxy mix. It's only five milliliters. We won't even be using all of this for the tumbler. Um, I have three glitter colors. Um, I have Athena, which is like a goldish color. Um, I have Wrangler which is um, like a light blue color. And then I also have um, rose gold. Um, and all of these are from Peachy Olive Glitters and I will link those below also um, if you guys wanted to go ahead and snag a few of those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put less than one milliliter on the tumbler and spread that around to get a nice even thin 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 coat you don't want anything too thick because your glitter will kind of just fall into the epoxy and you, it'll be really uneven so you want to make sure you have an even thin coat just enough for the glitter to adhere to the tumbler Alrighty. after that i'm just going to discard of my gloves and i'm going to go ahead and start glittering this beauty so I'm going to start with my Wrangler first, which is a light blue color. And the colors are just basically like a, a road map to place the glitter. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, start glittering with the blue. And then I'm going to transition with the other colors uh, back and forth. Uh, so yeah. Alrighty, so now um, we are going to go ahead and get ready for our sanding. Um, we are going to use an 80 and a 60 grit sanding block to sand it with. Um, after it has been drying overnight or about six to eight hours, you are good to go with this step. Just make sure your cup is not tacky or sticky. Um, if so, just let it sit for a few more um, hours. 
Um, I also spray sealed this with Rust-Oleum's Clear Enamel Sealer. Um, I sprayed it one good time. You can spray it twice if you want, um, but I sprayed it only once. Um, just gave it a good, good, good spraying. And I also put two layers of epoxy on top of this cup. For this design, for a peekaboo tumbler, you want to make sure you get every rough spot. You want to make sure you get your rim. I always um, expose a thin line of stainless steel at the top of my rim. Um, therefore, it creates a nice seal for when we go and place the final layers of epoxy. Um, also, I get the bottom very, very well since it is a mini chunky glitter that I used. You want to make sure you get the bottom of the cup really 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 good because once we go to spray paint um, if there's any rough spots you're going to risk sanding away your spray paint so we don't want to do that so you want to make sure everything is nice and smooth um, no rough spots um, and if you do um, sand too much on the bottom it is perfectly fine i didn't expose any stainless steel at the bottom of this one um, but if you do accidentally go too far on the bottom trying to make it completely smooth it is perfectly fine because you are going to spray paint over the bottom anyway and then you're going to place more epoxy on top so um, just making sure everything is nice and smooth even if you do have a couple of um, lumps but they're smooth lumps <laughs> um, that is okay because again we're going to place more epoxy on there and it's going to be just fine it's going to blend and you won't notice um you know if you do have a lump or two however you can avoid that by go ahead and placing a third coat on top after you sand to where you don't have that issue Alrighty, so now we are going to go ahead and place our decals on. I've washed the cup with soap and water to get any debris from the sanding off um, and dried it really, really well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a spot where I want my decal. Um, I picked just a yellow removable vinyl. Um, I have a lot of yellow for some strange reason. So just to kind of get rid of some of it, I'm just gonna use it for um, this tumbler um, and it's easier to remove removable vinyl off of this um, type of tumbler the peekaboo tumbler um, because if you put something permanent on there you're going to have a hard time peeling it off um, after you, you spray painted so i picked a spot where i want to put my um, decal so i'm just going to go ahead and um, use my transfer paper to put my um, decal onto my tumbler. And I usually will, of course, use the lines that are in the transfer paper to um, make sure that it is um, going on there straight before um, I was not utilizing the lines that was on the transfer paper. I know, totally crazy, but I was not utilizing the lines. And every time that I would go and put <laughs> my decal on, it would be crooked. Um, so to save you some stress, to save you some cuts, um, utilize the lines on the transfer paper um, to put it on and make sure it's straight. So um, you want to kind of put it um, down on the transfer paper a little bit to give you um, another line to so where you can line up the, um, <laughs> the extra line like across the rim of the cup. I don't know if that makes sense, but just don't put the decal like at the very top of the transfer paper because then it's gonna be hard to um, like line it up and make sure it's completely straight. Hopefully that makes sense, but just basically leave some extra space <laughs> on the transfer paper to line it up. You'll see what I mean um, once you start doing it. 
anyway so i'm going to measure it um you can see me kind of measuring it um, triple measuring it to make sure everything is straight um, i want to make sure that um the decal is on there you know the, the correct measurements all the way across therefore i know that it's straight so if you get an inch on one side an inch in the middle and then you get half an inch on the other side then you know that it's crooked to take it off and to reposition it so i'm going to go ahead and um i kind of caddy it on there um, i always do this especially when i have like a wider or bigger um, decal to where i know that it's not going to have any bubbles so you're just going to cut half of it off and then you're going to press firmly and kind of pull to make sure it's nice and snug and then the, on the other side you can just take the other side off and then the same thing you want to just kind of pull snug and um, um, rub it on there to make sure you don't have any bubbles especially for this design you want to make sure your um, words and your vinyl is on there nice and good because you don't want the paint to get underneath it and mess up um, your design so you can see me just kind of rubbing it and making sure that everything is nice and flush to the cup. Because again, when you go to spray paint, you do not want to have that spray paint get underneath the words. Um, so now we're done with that part. And so I'm going to go ahead and start placing our leopard prints. Uh, for the leopard prints, you can um, place them by hand or you can get some transfer paper and just kind of pick um, a chunk of them up at a time and um, lay them you know on top of the cup just like we did um, the mom fuel but for me I'm just going to go ahead and um, place them by hand I just kind of like the random look better than them just kind of all being clumped together um, so I'm not going to bore you <laughs> with this part by placing all of them on camera so I'm just going to go ahead and place a couple just to show you and then I'm just going to place the rest of them off camera alrighty so we have all of them placed all around the cup no rhyme or reason just place them how you want to place them even place them at the bottom um, so now we're gonna go and do our spray painting okay so now we have it spray painted I spray painted it with three coats letting it dry in between and now I'm gonna weed off all of the um, leopard prints so now I'm gonna go ahead and place the first layer of epoxy and I'm gonna place um, some white glitter uh, just to kind of give it a nice shimmer to finish off the look that we have um, this glitter I got from Michaels um, I'll link the uh, name of it I can't think of the name of it right now but I'll link that to the bottom it has like an iridescent um, kind of greenish bluish color to it so I figured that it's perfect for this cup because we do have that blue in it um, so it kind of brings that out just to not make it look so dull, just adding an extra shine to the top. So you can add any translucent glitter to this. It doesn't have to be the one that I use. Um, Peachy Olive Glitters also has one um, and it's called Bright. You can use that also. Again, I'll link them at the bottom of the video, but I'm just going to go ahead and place um, a nice coat of epoxy on top. Uh, I think I used about... 10 to 12 milliliters on top of this cup um, but it just varies depending on what size you have Okay, so now our tumbler has been drying overnight or for at least six to eight hours. And now I'm going to place the offset 
um, which is like an outline um, to the words that we have that we um, weeded off. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, use some transfer paper here and apply the offset to our tumbler. And honestly, guys, I just eyeball it. Um, I was going to do the whole word at one point, like all at the same time. But then as I was putting the M on, I realized I'm just going to put the M on first <laughs> since it's a single um, letter. And then I went and I did the O M. Um, together but I just eyeball it um, however works for you but it's not a long word so it was just kind of easy to just eyeball it and just get one corner down and um, just eyeball it on but as you can see here I was going to keep going but then I was like oh nope <laughs> I'm just going to do the M first so I just kind of took it off and um, did the OM separately And bam, there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then of course, peel it off not slow to where you don't accidentally rip off <laughs> your vinyl. Mistake has been done. So just slowly peel your transfer paper off, guys. And then for the fuel, that one was pretty, um, pretty easy because it was just kind of like a straight line. So that was very easy to... Um, to put on. Okay, so now we're ready for our final layers of epoxy. We have put on our offset outline um, vinyl. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on another 10 to 12 milliliters of epoxy. And I did um, two layers. Um, I, so I put this coat on, let it dry um, for about you know four to six hours. And then I went back and added one more coat on top of that and that was it um, so we just put on two final coats um, after we put our decal on
so that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video um please give it a thumbs up if it um was helpful at all um i would love to hear your feedback please put any questions in the comment section and i will get back to you guys and answer any questions you have please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching